Hello folks, welcome back to our Teletype shop. Uh, so we start to have a lot of things working. The 19 printer and keyboard is working. The 15 over here is doing fine. So it's come time to do the distributor transmitters, the one that reads tapes and uh, sends it. Sub subscribe. This is subscribe to Curious Mark's channel in Vintage Bits. And as usual, Carl and Ed are just way ahead of me. So you're almost done, Carl? No. <laughs> no. <laughs> well, we, we, <laughs> we have to test it, but is this whole assembled mine um, the uh, box one to repainting and then I have all the innards on the table which are not in such a good shape so this one is fairly rusted and uh, so are the other parts so I think it's going to start with a good cleaning So this will be a first, right? Uh, using the yes. real power supply for the punch, and then I can put it in top on me. Mm -hmm. Mind if I move backwards? It I started the right. clock when you yeah. turned it on. Yeah, it's a, it's a good Smaller. minute. Mm -hmm. Do we have filaments? Yeah. Yes. There you go. 43 seconds. Okay. All right. Uh, moment of truth. I think I am on. Yeah. Can you see it on the on the tubes? Oh, oh very nicely. Nice Can you hold down the space bar so the light stays on? Mm -hmm. Okay. So what do I do? A quick brown fox? Something like that? Okay. It smells. I mean, that's probably a good smell. Uh, lemon chicken? Letters! <laughs> lemon chicken. Um, this is a... Back up. <laughs> Quick brown fox. Okay, here we go. We survived this, but something is warming up that should not. So is it okay if I hook up the oscilloscope? Um, to the power supply? Sure, sure. Go ahead. That's a test tape in Carl's distributor. Very well done, Carl. Uh, and then should we do a current loop with this guy? With the uh, with the 19 or the 15? I'm still doing that verification of the resistance. Okay, and then make sure the tape advances actually. Yes, right. that too. Okay, last time we tried it off camera, we had a nice puff of smoke. But the smoke that escaped didn't damage anything. If this is to be believed, there's no short. Okay. Hmm. Oh, yeah, take that one. Let's protect it. So that right. I and then I have the switch yeah. to control it too. Okay. But you Hmm. Well, the, the motor should be on all the time. There is no it's a direct connection to the motor. There is nothing in between the... Hmm. Uh, and did the thing light up? Because we had the, the smoke event before, yeah, so that's good. Yeah, okay, well, I'll let you work on that one.
Okay. Okay. Try it again. Yes. If you can uh, get us. Okay. Much better job. <laughs> so. Uh, oh, it opens up like this. Okay. So that's my good because then I. Uh, not advancing the tape so something uh, else is do you need the well so it's mean your activation magnet yeah, i might need the 90 volts for that i'm not sure what no should be should be on the 110 ac try to advance it manually you can push the magnet yourself but that's just going to trip the distributor well oh, maybe that'll no no it should do everything Well, it mentions a tight tape stop contact as well as a end of tape. Yeah, so you have two, com I, I have them in parts. Okay. So but there, there's this one. Right, which is the end of tape. I and think. there's another one somewhere here that, that detects if the tape has, has ended. Oh, oh, so this must be the tight taut then. Yeah, you have it right. Uh, yeah, correct. So then the contacts must be wrong. Okay, so my parts are out of the bath. Oh, there you go. Just the oxid did it. It's the opposite. Oh, we had it wired the wrong way. I don't know. Doesn't make sense to me why. Oh, this is the taut tape. Okay, so that must mean the tape should be down low, not where I wired it. So. Like oh yes, error. that's correct. It's it stops it when the tape is too taut. Yes. And so that's you get it, oh. right? That's that's, that's coming out oh. of the punch oh. and the, uh oh. yeah. So it should be down here. If it goes up, it's taut. Right. Like that. So yeah, okay. So I turn it off, turn it on? Yes. Oh you're trying to Excellent. Okay, so make your current loop with the uh, with the 19 or the 15. Are you working on the 19, uh, Ken? 15, right? Give me like five seconds. So that's the next step in the experiment. We have a current loop from the transmitter to the teletype writer. So we are going to transmit from this and it's going to print on this. Okay. Ready? I'm ready. Transmitting something, but it's garbage. It says eek, eek. Eek, eek. So I guess you have to figure out if you oxidate this. Yeah, your yeah, your contacts are right or wrong. So once you put power down. Yeah, so this works fine. So it's just not transmitting the thing. While Carl is cleaning his contacts, uh, I have the part of mine out of the bath. So here's the, uh, here's the business end. So that's the one I need to clean the most, but it's not, uh, it's just the, uh, the tape transport mechanism. And that works, so that's fine. Then you have the tape sensing things. There are little pins, five of them that go and sense the holes and those activate dual way contacts over here so it actually can it can work polarized right it has both a contact for space and a contact for mark but we'll use just one of the contact because we're not polarized and then this is a distributor with a little clutch thing here Whoop. and I just connected straight to the contacts over here so it's a fairly simple mechanism compared to the rest of the machine and 
over there uh, the famous filters and our resistor that broke that's the resistor that's in series with the uh, clutch magnet uh, so we need to find a new one of that and during that time I've done a good job cleaning that's the only thing I've done today of value and that was the plate that was all rusted so fortunately I could take it all apart so I made it a lot easier to clean and I think I even have it realigned properly so, so that's pretty neat you can see the little holes in it excellent you're not going to put the tape on your pin? Yeah, so there's a, a pin here that sends the end of tape and it was all bent and rusted and it used to stick in there but now <laughs> it's clean and straight wow, I keep that. losing it Alright, so here are the contacts that make the thing work activated by little pins and what I like to do Put a bit of the oxide and then slip it. This is the tray up here. In between the contact. And one side goes to. And I have now finished the distributor. I had to uh, reshape the contact springs and make them you know, nice and square. Get them. No, sand it to right shape and the copper is now looking like it's copper clean and oil everything should be good to go so I have the really three business parts finished the distributor the tape transport and uh, the contacts back there and all the rest is just no electrical could be clean could be dirty would work just the same So Carl, you just clean your contacts, right? Yes. Yeah. Clean all the contacts. And you found some that were not making contact. Yes. You don't have a 6-bit machine that we're trying to run on 5 bits by any chance? <laughs> no, it's 5-bit, it's but you know the, the question might be, is it a different speed? Ah, uh, well it's a sync motor, so that well, should be a problem. Well, but it can be a sync problem. motor at a different speed, right? A sync motor uh, for 50 hertz? Well, because of gears, yeah. So, so what, what are you trying to sound? Uh, the quick brown fox, blah blah blah. So maybe what we ought to do is be putting the scope on that. Well, I'll just do uh, ours. Yeah, whole series. Tape of ours. Okay. Ready right. again? Yep. Characters. Okay. So that's two ones in a stop or something. Oh one oh one oh. Oh one oh one oh. It it has to be speed because it's yes, is it, no it's not random. It's a series. Okay. It's a reproducible series. So it just just measure a bit. I bet you it's off. Yeah. Okay. So. So now we have to look at your motor and my motor to figure out which gear gets changed. And and I have a whole bunch of gears in my box. Perfect. So I'm I'm getting um, 18 milliseconds for the one. Yes, that's it. And Should be 22. 18 would be 75 and, word per minute. And se 17 for the. Okay, for that's the it. Whole. And then the other thing that's happening over here, you can tell it's not random. It's just generating a bunch a pseudo random number generator okay so it's just a speed issue mm -hmm. 
Fortunately, I have a box of gears. What was it written? Gears on it? Gear sets. And we looked through it. And can you show a little gear, Carl? But none of them were the one we needed. We found one that was close, which is the, the smaller one. Mm -hmm. And then not only you need the gear, but you need the, the other one that meshes with it. Do we have one somewhere? Yeah, this one, this one. So you need a set uh, to change the, the speed and uh, I have a good, maybe 10 pairs, but non, not the right one. So we'll have to find somebody that has the parts. Uh, so we know exactly what gears it has to be because I have it on mine. Hopefully mine is correct. And it's a 801.68. Take a picture. This is an amazing place. It's just crammed full of every possible teletype part you could imagine. Let's see if I can find this. 